these are the mechanicals on the west side of the home, the main house. Uh, we have our gas meter here, okay, on the west side. There's the service disconnect. We don't know, have isolation valves, but there's the service disconnect. And the gas piping coming to the package system. This is called a package system. And uh, by it being a package system means that the evaporator coils and the furnace, they're all together in one package. And the only thing that goes into the house is the duct work. This is called a split system. A uh, split system is that this is the compressor, the condensing unit, and then the evaporator coils are inside of the house. And the heater is inside of the house. This is the heater is outside of the house. The coils are dirty on both of these units. So you've got dirty coils. The gas piping coming to the package system should have been painted or repainted. It's rusting. Okay, it's, it's been wrapped as it goes into the ground. I get that. That's a nice thing. But still we got a lot of corrosion here. Our gas piping coming into the package system does not have a sediment trap. The package system is not sitting level. It's not sitting level on the ground. This is the main disconnect. It's to the side. By the day standards, it should be farther to the side. I took a still image of the inside to make sure that it was laced up fine. This is a Bryant, okay? It was manufactured in uh, 2007. So it's over 14 years old. These package systems tend to last a little longer than your conventional. Okay, so here's here's another thing about it. It's a um, five-ton system. Uh, I believe I'm gonna cross-reference all of this. I'll get you a better date. Okay, uh, but it's R22. R22 refrigerant is no longer manufactured in the United States. It's no longer legally imported in the United States. Do they have stockpiles of it? You bet. Is it expensive? Uh-huh. It is expensive. And they also sell drop-ins. I'm here to tell you, if you have somebody talk you into a drop-in which runs less efficient, I think it's probably about a C or 10, okay, and runs less efficient, then you might as well put that guy on payroll. You might as well put that guy on payroll. Can you get some more use and utility out of this? Yes, you can. Is it very efficient? Not as efficient as the other unit we're about to look at. Such a least efficient unit, and it's not level. Over here we have the condensing unit. It's a train. And this unit, I'll find it somewhere. It's got dirty coils as well. I cannot open the disconnect box from this one because it's been properly sealed. It's been properly sealed. So this guy's only about five years old. It's got the newer 410A refrigerant. Okay, so he's gonna be running about a 14 sear as opposed to 10 sear, maybe less. A 10 sear to 14 sear, a lot more energy efficient. It still has dirty coils. So, and this guy right here is a 36, it's a three ton system. I'm pretty sure about that.